Hi guys, so today we're gonna be doing interval training and I'm gonna walk you through the exercises, show you the proper form and I'm gonna give you the modifications for beginners so that really anyone can try this workout at home. And uh, the exercises that we're gonna be doing today are bodyweight exercises only. So the only thing that you're gonna need for your workout is your interval timer. And uh, you might need some chair or little step and your exercise mat and that's all. So the first exercise are side burpees and the exercise looks like this. So now I'm gonna break it down for you. You're gonna start standing with your feet about hip width apart. You're gonna squat down and place your hands next to you with your fingers pointing towards each other, like this. And jump your feet towards the side. So that you end up in the side plank position. Make sure that you're not dropping your hips, keep your body in one straight line. It means that you're gonna have to be really tensing your core muscles. And now bend your elbows and do a push up. Jump your feet forward again. And jump up. Land softly on the balls of your feet and as you land, bend your knees slightly to absorb the shock. So, now I'm gonna break it down for beginners. Beginners, you guys are gonna uh, squat down, put your hands on the ground, just like I show you, uh, with your fingers pointing towards each other. If you cannot jump towards the side, you can step to the side. If you cannot hold the plank, then put your hip down and do a press up. That's much easier, beginners can do that. So now step forward, if you cannot jump forward, step forward into the squat and do a little jump up. And now you're going to be alternating the sides. So as soon as you do it to this side, put your hands again towards the other side and jump to the right and again push up jump your feet forward and jump up so oh, I hope that you guys beginners you won't skip this exercise you won't give up you won't get discouraged because uh, with the modifications really anyone can try it and don't worry, you guys are going to get so much stronger as you're going to be practicing that soon enough you're going to be able to do this exercise the way I do it. So the second exercise in this workout are mountain climbers. It's a great full body exercise and it's really going to be targeting your abs. So you guys want to start in the plank position and step with one foot forward, push your hips up and you're gonna be jumping and switching the legs like this and the idea behind, behind this exercise is to do it as fast as you can so something like this and you want to be really really engaging your abs and if you guys cannot do these jumpings if you're beginners and the jumps are too hard for you then you can be doing these step touches just switch the legs without the jump and try to keep a really good pace. So even if you're not jumping, you should be always trying to do this exercise as fast as you can. So the next exercise in this workout is ninja jump tuck. And it's one of the actually most enjoyable exercises if you manage to overcome the fear from this exercise. Well, it, it, I cannot describe it with words, I'm gonna have to show you. It looks scary at first. I was scared myself when I tried this exercise for the first time. I was just kneeling and static in front of me. I thought I'm gonna fall on my nose. And uh, you know, once you really overcome the fear and you know how it works, where comes the power from, you're gonna be soon able to do this exercise. So the power comes from your hips and from your core. And you have to really focus, you have to visualize the movement, how you're powering up and you're landing into a squat. And 
from here you're gonna go you're gonna do the uh, jump tuck so you're gonna bring your knees really high up and then you're gonna land softly on the balls of your feet and bend your knees slightly as you land so that you absorb the shock now for beginners if you guys are too scared to try the ninja jump you can just put your hands on the ground and help yourself this way and then if you want to skip the, the jump tuck you can do just jump up and try to jump as high as you can now you can also try this modification with one foot on the ground and you can try to push off of the standing foot it's much easier or you can uh, have a chair in front of you or you can kneel in front of your couch and you can push off of it you can use it as a support so these are the three modifications for beginners for the ninja jump and i hope you guys are gonna try it i hope you're gonna enjoy it let me know how you did and i'm gonna show you the next exercise which is step ups so the last exercise in this workout are step ups and I'm using this little kitchen step. You guys can use a chair or any little step that you find at home. Just make sure that it supports your weight and it doesn't slide around. It has to be stable. So we're going to be doing these step ups. You're going to step up and you're going to step down with the other leg. Step up, step down and alternate the legs. And the idea behind this exercise is to do as many reps as you can. Keep your chest up, shoulders back and down, and your abs tight. Uh, now, as higher as you step, the higher you step up, the more intense this exercise is going to be. So, if you are a beginner, you might want to use a lower step. This little kitchen step has two levels. So this one would be perfect for beginners. See? And you guys can also use a wall for support. You can uh, put your chair against the wall. I used to do that and here I can't and I have to show you what the exercise looks like. So just imagine there is a wall in front of me and I would step up and I would put my hands on the wall for support. It's a big help. So you might find that useful. And that's it basically. I showed you all the exercises that we're going to be doing in today's workout. And now I'm just going to have to do the workout myself. So check back for my workout video. I'm going to show you how hard you have to push in this workout. You have to be sweating. You have to be breathing hard because this workout is supposed to be intense. It's only 12 minutes long. It's an interval training. And your goal is to do as many reps as you can for each exercise. I'm going to have a step-by-step -step guide how to do this workout and I'm going to show you how you can uh, set your interval timer as well. So uh, check out my blog, buddyrack.tv, it's all there for you. Anyone can try this workout at home. And beginners, don't give up. You're going to get stronger and you'll see the progress that you're going to be making if you're going to be following our workouts on a weekly basis. So that's it. Enjoy your workout and I will see you guys soon. Chihuahua training. Yo, you just pick up one chihuahua and then you do squats with it. And two, one, and two. It's hard. And let's try one more squat with your chihuahua. And you're gonna fix. 